गुड मॉर्निंग टू लर्नर्स एंड व्यूअर्स वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू दिस सेशन दिस सेशन इज ऑन सेक्रेटरियल प्रैक्टिस दिस इज इन ए एस पी सेक्रेटेरियल प्रैक्टिस दिस इज एन एलेक्टिव दिस इज एन एप्लीकेशन ओरिएंटेड कोर्स फॉर बीकम स्टूडेंट्स दिस टॉपिक कवर्स ए एस पी कोर्स ब्लॉक वन यूनिट टू एंड थ्री इफ यू विजिट एनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यू फाइंड एन ऑफिस देर फोर ऑफिस इज एन एसेंशियल कॉम्पोनेंट टू मेंटेन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो इफ यू ऑब्जर्व इन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ए हेड विल कोआर्डिनेट द फंक्शन ऑफ द ऑफिस हु इज यूजली कॉल्ड एज एग्जीक्यूटिव आर हेड आर ए सेक्रेटरी सो इट इज एसेंशियल एंड एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ ए पर्सन हु सुपरवाइज कोआर्डिनेट कंट्रोल एसिस्ट the functions which are collect, connected to the organization so he has to maintain all the functions along with he should also keep the integrity of the organization in modern days the functions of organization is very complex therefore a person who is capable to maintain the functions of the organization is essential in present days he used to call as secretary now we have dr rashmi with us she is lecturer in school of management studies igno she will explain and discuss on the meaning significance qualifications duties responsibilities and so and so on of the secretary as well as the role of secretary in various organizations like associations clubs organizational offices and government institutions so and so on now i would like to uh, uh, request Uh, dr rashmi to explain and discuss with our learners on these issues whenever you feel any further explanation you can interrupt the session and you can clarify your doubts you can ask for further explanation on any issue which you require thank you thank you dr raju for introducing me good morning students today i am going to speak on the topic fundamentals of secretarial works first of all what do you mean by secretarial work in an organization secretarial work includes a wide variety of jobs like conducting correspondence keeping of records preparing agenda of the meetings writing minutes of the meetings preparation of business reports etc this list can be quite long thus secretariat of an organization is its nerve center it plays a very vital role in its operation maintenance growth and expansion let me give you an example here suppose ceo that is chief executive officer of a company wants a report about the trend of sales of the product in a particular zone it depends on the efficiency 
of the secretariat how readily it makes the report available to the ceo now who manages the secretariat as the secretarial work pervades all types of activities connected with the organization it necessitates the existence of an officer or executive who should assist overview and coordinate the whole work in an efficient manner and keep the integrity of the organization intact in modern day common parlance such an executive is called secretary now who is a secretary the oxford dictionary gives the following meaning of the word secretary one whose office is to write for another especially one who is employed to conduct correspondence to keep record and to transact various other businesses for another person or for a society corporation or public body actually the word secretary is derived from the latin term secretarius which means the keeper of secrets or the confidential officer thus now we can summarize the special features of the word secretary first the secretary is a person male or female second he or she should be able to perform the works of confidential nature third he or she works for another person in an organization fourth he or she holds an official position as we all know today it is the time of globalization a company has to deal not only in its own country but all over the world and therefore for the success of an organization the secretary is expected to be very intelligent well informed about the current events having high communication skills and very dynamic in brief a person of varied virtues now the importance of a secretary as i mentioned earlier secretary plays a vital role in the running maintenance growth and expansion of an organization not only a company but even individuals like lawyers doctors film stars members of parliament etc also appoint a secretary so that the secretary can take care of day to day work and the person concerned can concentrate on more important matters role of a secretary 
द रोल ऑफ अ सेक्रेटरी डिपेंड्स ऑन द पोजिशन विच ही और शी होल्ड हिज रोल मे बी दैट ऑफ अ कॉन्फिडेंशियल असिस्टेंट और सिंपली परफॉर्मिंग ओनली रूटीन क्लैरिकल वर्क in modern organizations the secretary is expected to perform the role of one or more of the following positions first office executive second liaison officer third advisor to management let me explain briefly the responsibilities of a secretary when he or she holds one of the following positions first office executive as an office executive the secretary is supposed to organize day to day work of the office this involves planning supervising coordinating and controlling secretarial work such as correspondence record keeping accounts etc it also includes convening of meeting making necessary arrangements thereof and keeping record of the proceeding of the meetings etc second liaison officer on the other hand when a secretary acts as a liaison officer he or she acts as a link between business executive and outside parties such as clients customers and the public on the other side secretary is a link between his or her boss and his higher level managers and the administrative staff on certain occasions when required the secretary may have to play a role of public relations officer that is pro of the organization third acting as an advisor to the management secretary's role becomes very challenging because on many occasions his or her business executive will depend on the advice of the secretary while taking policy decisions this arises out of the necessity because business executive does not have time to keep himself informed with the latest developments in various fields the secretary earns the position of advisor sometimes because of his dedicated service total loyalty and integrity of the highest order to his boss uh, dr rashmi in nutshell uh, as you said uh, rightly the secretary functions or respond duties and responsibilities are not just mere an employee discharging in the organization yes sir he has to play a crucial role in the organization to maintain the secrecy of the organization and confidentiality of the organization that means the secretary is the alone person in the organization to 
handle the secret issues and confidential issues. Yes, which, very right. Which the employees could not know and these issues should not be revealed except to the management. So he has to play a coordinative role in between the employees as well as the management and management as well as the outsiders and employees as well as the outsiders, the issues which are related to the outsiders and management, outsiders and employees and employees and, and management. management. So he has to play a crucial role. That's why he is called an uh, confidential uh, officer. Yes, confidential officer, office executive, and an advisor to the management, and liaison officer. He has to provide the information which is to management which is required to take policy decisions for effective and efficient implementation for uh, organizational growth. Huh? So here office secretary role and responsibilities are different from as you said rightly the persons who appoint as his personal secretaries. Yes, the yes. scope of work is very limited uh, in concern to the uh, secretaries who are being appointed to a person and the secretaries who are being appointed to an organization are different. The scope is so wider. The scope is wider. Yes. So you continue. Now the qualifications of a secretary. Since the secretary has to perform a variety of tasks, he or she must possess certain basic academic qualifications, intellectual qualities and personal attributes besides specialized knowledge required by a particular organization. Let me explain briefly each of these points. First, academic qualification. He or she should have educational qualification of a reasonably high standard, generally graduation in arts, commerce or law is a desirable qualification. Second, communication skills. Secretary is supposed to have excellent verbal and written communication as English has now become the means of communication world over proficiency in English is must. I may add that knowledge of other languages will be an additional qualification. Third, the secretary should have general knowledge of high standard, intellectual curiosity and reading habit helps one to acquire general knowledge. A secretary, secretary should have practical knowledge of office management. Thus he or she should be familiar with modern methods of filing, indexing, use of personal computers, fax machine, internet, etc. As regards the personal attributes, there are several desirable qualities which are shown on the next slide. First, a good personality. Second, a healthy physical appearance and pleasing manners. Third, qualities of head and heart, that is, presence of mind and sense of justice. Fourth, self-confidence and self-discipline. Fifth, sincerity, integrity of character, 
and loyalty. Sixth, sense of responsibility, honor, and dignity. Seventh, tact and discretion. Eighth, a good memory of facts, faces, and names. Now the importance of secretarial work. With globalization of economy and vast expansion of social and economic spheres, secretarial services have assumed greater importance. The importance of secretarial work may be attributed to Firstly, the onerous nature of secretary's functions and secondly, the increasing dependence of management of on secretarial assistance. The secretary's responsibilities are of different types. The private secretary of a doctor or lawyer or that of a business executive has become indispensable due to the nature of work handled by the secretary. This work may be of a confidential nature or it may deal with financial affairs. The secretary of any social organization, educational institution, cooperative society or registered bodies has to undertake work of heavy responsibilities. A company secretary besides acting as executive head of the office has several duties and responsibilities. He has to bear administrative responsibilities like functional managers besides having to perform the role of an advisor to the top management. It is the duty of the secretary to collect and preserve all the relevant current information needed by an organization because on the basis of actual information and factual data provided by the office of the secretary, management can formulate future plans and policies and assess the results of planned efforts. Thus indirectly, the success of the management depends on the accuracy and efficiency of the secretarial work. It is the responsibility of the secretary to coordinate between the decisions taken at the meeting and their implementation. It is thus of utmost importance that proceedings of the meetings should be recorded properly. Now the types of secretaries. There are various types of secretaries like private secretary, secretary of an association or a club, secretary of a cooperative society, secretary of a local body, secretary of a government department, company secretary. Let me briefly describe the qualifications and duties of a private secretary. Qualifications of a private secretary depend on the eminence and profession of his or her employer. For example, the qualifications of a private secretary of a doctor will be different from those of the private secretary of say a minister. However, there are 
some general qualifications of private secretary which are shown on the next slide. Qualifications of a private secretary. <coughs> First, a reasonably high standard of general education, at least graduation. Second, training in secretarial course. Third, skill in stenography and personal computer. Fourth, Familiarity with office equipments and machines. Fifth, reasonably good general knowledge. Sixth, good communication skill. Seventh, knowledge of a foreign language if necessary. The secretary should have reasonably high standard of education as I mentioned earlier, graduation in arts, commerce or law is desirable. Secretary should have good and efficient communication skills. He or she should have received training in secretarial work run by a professional institution. <coughs> he or she should have efficiency in stenography and should be able to work on a personal computer. Secretary should have familiarity with different office equipments like telephone, fax machine, xerox machine, internet, etc. He or she should have good general knowledge and if necessary should have knowledge of a foreign language. Now personal attributes. Dr. Rashmi, here I would like to appreciate our students. Uh, the qualifications of a secretary is arts or commerce, commerce or, law. or law. So, there is a chance of our students, if they successfully complete, they become graduation. But they need further some more knowledge, as you said, in the areas of uh, proficiency in English yes. that they have to take in care if they want to go for secretaries. That means they have this opportunity to be secretary in any organization or secretary to any persons, those who are having high profile. Yes. yes. And they need, as you said, practical knowledge to maintain the office. For that, we used to advise the students to take AOM, office management, along with secretarial practice. That is another course in application oriented course, that is AOM. One. Office organization and management. Office organization and management. Similarly, they need computer knowledge also. Nowadays, that is very, very important. The students, I feel they take care of the uh, computer knowledge. Even if not, we have given the opportunity to opt computer courses. Huh? And they need general knowledge, which is common. Even though they could get general knowledge through our foundation courses also. So, if they are serious about these aspects and they got the theoretical knowledge, definitely they have so much time. If they visit the offices and the functioning of the offices, they supervise the offices personally, they will get some practical knowledge to maintain the office. So, they will have, you will, sorry, you will have confidence, our students will have confidence mm -hmm. to be perform the activities of a secretary. Yes, okay, definitely. You can continue. Now the personal attributes. These are as under sincerity, resourcefulness, discretion, tactfulness, 
सेंस ऑफ प्रोपोर्शन चेयरफुलनेस लॉयल्टी डिपेंडेबिलिटी ऑर्डरलीनेस एंड पंक्चुअलिटी पुट टूगेदर अ प्राइवेट सेक्रेटरी इज सपोज टू बी एंड ऑल राउंड आफ्टर एक्सप्लेनिंग द क्वालिफिकेशन ऑफ अ प्राइवेट सेक्रेटरी लेट मी ब्रीफली समराइज his or her duties the generalized duties of a private secretary are shown on the next slide <coughs> duties of a private secretary first routine office work second receptionist duties third literary duties fourth financial duties fifth domestic and social duties sixth duties relating to meetings seventh other works first i need not elaborate the routine office work which includes short hand dictation drafting typing of letters handling incoming and outgoing mail filing and indexing of letters maintenance of records maintenance of books and registers and operation of office appliances second as regards the receptionist duties this includes handling inward and outward telephone calls screening and fixing appointments attending to visitors and their inquiries and maintaining diary for the boss and for himself or herself thirdly literary duties include drafting of routine letters reports speeches or statements on behalf of the employer financial duties these include handling of employers bank transactions payment of bills taxes donations subscriptions maintenance of records of employers investment and incomes therefrom the payment of premium and related work also come under these duties domestic and social duties if necessary private secretary has to manage the domestic staff of the employer arrangements for parties luncheons and dinners etc this also includes sending messages of condolences congratulations and greetings on behalf of the boss sixth duties relating to meetings preparation of agenda issuing notices making arrangement for holding the meetings <coughs> <coughs> making available the necessary documents during the meeting drafting minutes etc come in this category seventh other works as regards the other duties it includes all such acts that build up the image of the employer and develop better public relations to achieve professional objectives of boss so far i have explained the nature scope importance qualifications and duties of a private secretary now i shall describe the functions of secretaries of different types of organizations such as an association a cooperative society a local body or a government department so now we come to secretarial functions in an organization 
द स्टेटस रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज एंड ड्यूटीज वर्किंग इन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आर वाइड रेंजिंग डिपेंडिंग ऑन द नेचर ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल द फंक्शन ऑफ द सेक्रेटरी ऑफ एन एसोसिएशन और अ क्लब आर शोन ब्रीफली ऑन द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड फर्स्ट रोल एज एन एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर सेकेंड कन्वीनर ऑफ ऑल मीटिंग थर्ड एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑथोरिटी ऑफ द डिसीजन फोर्थ एडवाइजर ऑफ द मैनेजिंग कमेटी फिफ्थ कस्टोडियन ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट्स ऑफ द एसोसिएशन और क्लब सिक्स एज द पब्लिक रिलेशन ऑफिसर द सेक्रेटरी ऑफ एन एसोसिएशन इज इन फैक्ट एन एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर एजेंट एंड एडवाइजर ऑफ द मैनेजिंग कमेटी इन दिस कैपेसिटी ही परफॉर्म्स ऑल एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव फंक्शन सच एज रिक्रूटमेंट ऑफ ऑफिस स्टाफ रिसिप्ट एंड पेमेंट ऑफ मनी रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ न्यू मेंबर्स कलेक्शन ऑफ सब्सक्रिप्शन एंड डोनेशन परचेज एंड मेंटेनेंस ऑफ इक्विपमेंट्स एंड अरेंजमेंट ऑफ पार्टीज एंड सोशल गैदरिंग्स बेसाइड्स द सेक्रेटरी इज द कन्वीनर ऑफ ऑल मीटिंग्स ही और शी कॉल्स द मीटिंग्स ऑफ द जनरल बॉडी एज वेल एज द मैनेजिंग कमेटी इशूइंग ऑफ नोटिस प्रिपरेशन ऑफ एजेंडा रिकॉर्डिंग ऑफ प्रोसीडिंग्स एंड सर्कुलेशन ऑफ द मिनिट्स आर द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज ऑफ द सेक्रेटरी द सेक्रेटरी इज द मेन एडवाइजर ऑफ द मैनेजिंग कमेटी he or she acts as a public relations officer and issues press statements and notifications the secretary is the custodian of properties and investments of the association or club he should ensure that all the properties are properly maintained and secured now i shall briefly explain the status and functions of the secretary of a cooperative society cooperative society is a voluntary association of persons having common needs and interest cooperative credit society consumers cooperative society and cooperative housing society are some of the common types of cooperatives these societies are governed by the cooperative societies act of 1912 a central government legislation and cooperative societies acts and rules framed by different state governments usually the secretary of such a cooperative society works on honorary basis but if the society is a large one a whole time paid secretary can be appointed now i shall explain briefly the status and functions of the secretary of a cooperative society which are shown on the next slide first supervision of routine office work second holding meetings third agent of managing committee fourth advisor of managing committee the secretary has to manage and supervise the routine office work such as correspondence maintenance of records accounts and preparation of statements and returns 
to be submitted to the registrar of cooperative societies he is also responsible for holding the meeting recording the proceedings and drafts the minutes thereof it is his duty to make arrangements for the annual election of the managing committee while dealing with the general public and staff the secretary is authorized to act as the agent of the managing committee to receive money issue receipts thereof to operate bank accounts subject to the conditions laid down by the bylaws for example sometimes it is necessary to get the signature of one or more office bearer like president or treasurer besides that that of the secretary on the checks the secretary advises the managing committee on legal and other matters also he is expected to convene the meetings of the managing committee after regular intervals so as to keep the members posted with the work of the society now i shall explain briefly the functions of the secretary of a local body such as panchayats municipal boards district boards and municipal corporations these local bodies are established in accordance with legislations of state governments with a view to provide educational social medical and other civic amenities to the citizens of their respective areas the secretary of such a local body is a whole time paid employee he works under the guidance and direction of the chairman of the body the main functions and duties of the secretary of a local body are shown on the next slide acts as executive officer convener of the meeting advisor on legal and administrative matters the secretary of a local body is in fact an executive officer who coordinates and supervises all office activities such as correspondence maintenance of records control over staff and accounts he is responsible for the preparation of the annual budget estimates statements of accounts and annual reports of the local body he convenes all the meetings and looks after all the matters connected with meetings such as issue of notice preparation of agenda recording the proceedings and drafting of minutes later on he oversees the implementation of the decision taken at the meeting the secretary is expected to advise the chairman of the local body on legal and administrative matters lastly now i shall explain the status and functions of the secretary of the government department under the administrative setup of government executive head of a department is known as secretary he is the top civil servant attached attached to the ministry of the government and is directly responsible to the minister in charge of the concerned ministry uh, thank you dr rashmi you have explained about the 
secretary its role responsibilities duties and official qualifications as well as personal qualifications how he should act from time to time according to the situations in the organization so i hope our students gain some detailed knowledge on these uh, topics on this on this topic and dear students you have another session just after 15 minutes break don't go away you have the um, export promotion in india in the next session so don't go away please uh, with us in next session also thank you very much thank you